Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to enable multi-factor authentication within your Salesforce org. I'm gonna show you a few different ways in case you have different needs for your org than what the options are. So you can do this either uh, for the whole org or for only the people that it, you are requiring it for, or maybe you're doing a phased rollout of the multi-factor authentication. Um, this is required by Salesforce per the terms of service agreement. Any company signs with Salesforce that they will use a multi-factor authentication, and you can use this using the multi-factor authentication tool from Salesforce or other ones such as Google have those as well, but be sure to check with your terms of service to see if you should set this up for your whole org all at once, or maybe depending on your scenario and the licenses that you have, you might not need to set it up for every single person within your org. So first let's go ahead and set it up for everyone. I'm gonna go into setup. And then in the quick find, I'm gonna go to identity. And it should be identity verification. And then from here, we're going to require MFA and then we're gonna go down and hit save. All right, and then one more step that you do need to do, we're gonna go to session settings. And then we're gonna make sure that the multi-factor authentication is over here in the high assurance column. Now that that is saved, actually, I'm gonna save it once more. But now that is all set up for the whole org to use, regardless of what license. So now let's say that we only wanted to roll it out to one user or a group of users to test it out, to improve user adoption and not necessarily do a whole one day everyone type of deal. We can roll this out through a permission set. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna type in permission sets and then create a new one. I'm gonna label this multi-factor authentication and have that API name there. And then I'm not going to require this to have a particular license just to make things easier on us. So now over here in the settings, I don't know what category this is under, so I'm just gonna search for multi-factor. And then we're gonna to wanna to go to multi-factor authentication for API logins and for user interface logins. All right, so the difference between these two things is, so when it is through the user interface, that's when you go to your particular Salesforce domain login or through login.salesforce.com, whatever your company uses, that's gonna be through the user interface. Now let's say we are using a third party tool that connected back to our Salesforce. That's what that API login would be. So it would be for things like Workbench. All right, I am gonna go up, hit edit here, command F for multi-factor. Okay, we're gonna go down to multi-factor authentication for API logins and also for user interface logins. All right, so now that that is done, I am going to scroll up and hit save. And save again. So now that that is saved, we can go ahead and manage assignments and assign this permission set. So then we can do it on a user by user basis. So I am going to assign this to Jane Doe and then hit next and expire or have it not be expired hit save it has been assigned hit done and then there we go that is how you set up multi-factor authentication a few different ways one for the whole org and another way for a single user or group or whomever you are going to assign this permission set to. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the Salesforce courses down below in the description box or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter at EmilyCallMBA and you can check out the blog at salesforceemily.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.